Hello, fellow quirky people. I'm your host, Anna, and now that we've all seen Black Panther Wakanda forever, it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. Marvel made the decision to not recast T'Challa very early. Ryan Coogler made the conscious choice to kill off T'Challa and pay a tribute to his friend. After Chadwick Boseman's demise, Coogler was put in an impossible situation, but it's safe to say that he handled it really well. Many people still believe that T'Challa should have been recast but it is understandable why Marvel chose to go in the opposite direction. We were all intrigued to see how they'll handle T'Challa's exit respectfully. And apparently, the movie just started off with his demise right off the bat. But everyone was left asking how exactly T'Challa died. Even before the movie came out, it was safe to assume that we won't be seeing Chadwick Boseman's face. Marvel promised that they won't be recreating him through CGI. But many of us thought that maybe we would still get to see T'Challa in his full Black Panther suit one last time, and someone like Namor would probably kill him in the opening segment. Ultimately, that's what would begin the whole Wakanda vs. Talokan war. But those who thought of this theory were obviously wrong. None of it happened. We never got to see T'Challa's face or his physical dead body for obvious reasons. All we witnessed was the people of the Golden Tribe carrying his coffin, which was then taken away during the funeral. And everyone was left asking what disease was T'Challa suddenly suffering from after being blipped. The movie never revealed his ailment. Instead, we were just told that T'Challa died of an undisclosed disease. It's interesting that even after being enhanced by the heart-shaped herb, he was affected by some sort of a disease. He is supposed to be immune to all kinds of toxins and diseases. But apparently, this undisclosed illness could kill a superhuman. We clearly know why Marvel never revealed the cause of T'Challa's sickness. It was done as a nod to Chadwick Boseman, who was suffering from colon cancer almost the entire time he was in the MCU. But he chose to keep his condition private and continued to fight an uphill battle secretly. Similarly, T'Challa's disease was kept a secret from us. In a way, Marvel just honored his wishes while killing his character off in the movie. But still, if we had to choose one particular cause of his death, then the easiest choice would certainly be cancer. With all the advancements in the MCU, cancer still doesn't have a cure. Even someone like Jane Foster couldn't find a cure for it through science or magic. Deadpool is coming in pretty soon, and his rapid healing allows him to survive by preventing his cancer from being deteriorated any further. But it obviously doesn't eradicate the ailment entirely from his body. The cancer still stays. So, we can be sure that cancer doesn't have a cure, not even in Wakanda. But let's also consider that his disease was not cancer. Maybe T'Challa died of some newly discovered illness in the film. That would open up a great storytelling prospect for the future. And it would also leave people with several other questions in their minds. Questions like, was this disease genetic? Could little Prince T'Challa also have it or develop its symptoms in the future? Was it a new virus introduced to the MCU just like COVID was introduced in the real world? I am sure that Marvel will not open this can of worms. They just wanted to give T'Challa a peaceful exit, and that's what they did. So for those of you who believe that T'Challa died of cancer, I'd say that you are right. The prospect of a new disease would have been interesting for the future of the MCU. But we have to remember that the circumstances of T'Challa's passing weren't normal. He was only given a quiet exit because Marvel wanted to pay their respects to a wonderful talent. So they surely would not want to revisit the specifics of T'Challa's demise in the future. Still, what disease do you think T'Challa died of? Was it cancer or some other new sickness that will be revealed in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you agree with our analysis. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.